How does the parasympathetic nervous system affect the frontal lobe? The parasympathetic nervous system, or PNS, is responsible for regulating the body's rest and digest response, which is the opposite of the body's fight or flight response that is regulated by the sympathetic nervous system, or SNS. The PNS is involved in a range of physiological processes such as slowing the heart rate, decreasing blood pressure, and increasing digestive activity. Research has suggested that PNS may play a role in brain development, particularly during critical periods of early childhood. Studies have shown that the PNS is important for regulating the stress response and chronic or excessive activation of the SNS can have negative effects on brain development. In particular, the PNS has been shown to influence the development of the prefrontal cortex, or PFC, which is a key brain region involved in a range of cognitive processes such as decision-making, planning, and impulse control. Research has suggested that activation of the PNS can promote the growth and development of the PS, PFC, while chronic activation of the SNS can impair the growth and development of the PFC. Furthermore, studies have also suggested that the PNS may play a role in regular synaptic plasticity, which refers to the brain's ability to change and adapt over time. The PNS may promote some synaptic plasticity by modulating levels of neurotransmitters such as acetylcholine, which is important for learning and memory. Overall, the PNS plays an important role in brain development, particularly in the development of the PFC and synaptic plasticity. Activation of the PNS may promote healthy brain development, while chronic activation of the SNS may have negative effects on brain development. Studies have shown that each time you or your child receives a chiropractic adjustment, it stimulates the vagus nerve and the frontal lobe, therefore improving brain function with every visit to your pediatric and family wellness chiropractor. Now that we know this, how does the amygdala affect the frontal lobe? The amygdala and the frontal lobe are two important brain regions that are involved in various cognitive and emotional processes. The amygdala is a small almond-shaped structure located deep within the temporal lobe of the brain, and it is primarily known for its role in emotional processing, particularly in relation to fear and anxiety. The frontal lobe, on the other hand, is responsible for a range of cognitive processes, including attention, working memory, decision-making, and planning. The amygdala and the frontal lobe are interconnected through neural pathways, and studies have suggested that they may interact in several ways. For example, the amygdala can influence the function of the frontal lobe by modulating activity in other brain regions that are connected to both the amygdala and the frontal lobe. This can affect cognitive processes such as attention, working memory, and decision making, which are all important functions of the frontal lobe. Furthermore, Research has suggested that the frontal lobe can also modulate activity in the amygdala through its connections with other brain regions. This can influence emotional processes such as fear and anxiety, which are primarily controlled by the amygdala. Overall, the interaction between the amygdala and the frontal lobe is complex and can affect various cognitive and emotional processes. Dysfunction in either of these brain regions or their connections can lead to a wide range of neurological and psychiatric disorders, such as anxiety, disorders, depression, and attention deficit, deficit hyperactivity disorder, to name a few. Thankfully, getting adjusted helps to improve the function of the frontal lobe through vagus nerve stimulation, which inhibits the sympathetic nervous system and the amygdala. Over time, the brain gets progressively calmer and more balanced in its response to stressors, 